Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Shazam Funko Pop collection. This is from the Pop Heroes line, as you can see. Um, this was supposed to be from the Funko Pop, or from the Shazam movie, uh, but with it being from the Pop Heroes line, I'm almost wondering if... It's just from the comic books. Uh, a lot of us were disappointed whenever Funko announced these out because, as you can see, it's got everyone in their uh, Shazam uh, costumes and forms, and it was never really announced that they would be in the movie in their Shazam forms. Uh, so a lot of us were disappointed that Funko was spoiling it for us. Uh, however, as you can see, it says Pop Heroes on here rather than Pop Movies. So, they may not have spoiled it for us. Uh, we'll see. Uh, they may end it with that. They may end the movie with that. I'm not sure. Uh, the movie is supposed to be based on the New 52 uh, origin story for Shazam. Uh, but in the origin story, um, Shazam took on uh, Black Adam and Dr. Savannah. Um, Sorry guys, I had to look it up. Even though I'm a somewhat of a Shazam fan, uh, it's hard to keep all these names straight. Uh, and I've never really dug into the comics that much. I really just like his, you know, I like him as a character. Like his costume. Uh, like the design, like his uh, origin and all that. So I've never really kept up with the comics. I have a few, quite a few comics in there in my collection that I have not yet been able to uh, read. So anyway, in the comic, uh, Shazam takes on Dr. Savannah, but mostly he takes on Black Adam. And he ha he's forced to get help from his family, the Shazam family. Uh, Freddie, Mary, Eugene, Darla, and Pedro, uh, which are his adopted siblings, his foster siblings, I guess you would call it. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and dive into these guys and take a look at them. As you can see, the background on each, all six, is the same. You have the Shazam lightning bolt. We have Pop Heroes number 260, which is Shazam. Uh, he is referred to as Shazam on here because, like I said, this is the New 52 version of Shazam. Uh, Pre-New 52, he was known as Captain Marvel. Uh, we have 261, which is Freddy. 262, which is Mary. Uh, 263 is Eugene. 264 is Darla. 265 is Pedro. Now, let's go ahead and pull Pedro over here a minute. As you can see, this was slightly damaged. It was the first one I saw. It was the only one of Eugene that uh, GameStop had at the time. So I grabbed it. But then I discovered that they would have more of Eugene at the north side location, which is where I got the other uh, two, uh, Shazam and Mary. Uh, I ended up finding Darla at the other uh, GameStop. But I digress. I'm getting off topic. As you can see, there's all six of them. Very nice. Side. And the front. Now, just like with most pops, of this, they are the same all the way around. Uh, other than the character displayed on them. So we won't be getting into that. Let's go ahead and open them up and take a look at the Pops themselves. All right, so here we have the Marvel family, or Shazam family is what it's now called. Uh, since 
you know, um, Marvel has laid claim to the Captain Marvel identity uh, with their movie. Uh, it's even easier now for the two characters to be confused uh, because more people are being introduced to Marvel's Captain Marvel through the movie. Uh, DC has gone with just Shazam. And now in continuity, it isn't just when Billy says Shazam that he changes, but he has to mean it. Uh, he has to say it with emotion, with feeling, in order to change. So he can introduce himself as Shazam without change without fear of changing back. Uh, but he has to actually say, Shazam! You know, in order to change. Um, as you can see... Sorry, guys. I've got to get the boxes a minute. It does look like Eugene and Shazam have the same body sculpt uh the only thing different are their heads um and the way i know that is because of the hairstyles uh eugene's is more combed more to the right while shazam's is slicked back it also looks like uh pedro and freddy have the same body sculpt but with different heads. Now, when I took these guys out of the packages, uh, also it should be noted that Darla and Mary have completely different sculpts altogether. But when I took these guys out of the packages, uh, you will notice Darla and Mary both come with stand display bases. Uh, and that seems to be recurring with all female characters in Pops. Uh, now they do stand fairly well without the display bases. Uh, this, but as you can see, they do rock a little bit. So that's why Funko included these. Still, if you want to display them without the display base, as you can see, you're more than welcome to. Uh, they can display quite nicely. Um, however, if there's too much vibration or too much shaking, whatever, maybe a loud clap of thunder, they may fall over. So just be weary of that. We're going to go ahead and put them back on their display bases. Actually, that was Mary's. And the way you can tell that which one was Mary's and which one was Darla's is because Darla's peg is closer to the center of the base, whereas Mary's is further over to the side. But I really love the detail on these guys. Um, you know, I... I, I the, the costume's growing on me. Um, I do like the old style costume a lot better. But it is really nice. Uh, they should do a variant of uh, Shazam with his hood up, though. Uh, as with most pops... Shazam's head does turn all the way around, as does Freddy's. It's kind of tight, but it does. Mary's does as well. I was a little concerned that uh, her head might uh, get a little bit held up by her hair, but it does not. It does turn all the way around. Uh, Eugene's does as well. As does Darla's. 
and as does Pedro's. So there you have it, my friends, on this first pop review of 2019. It's been a few months since I've done a pop review. I wanted to wait until I got an entire line uh, to do one. Uh, in the future, I may or may not wait. I may just uh, do one when I have a few of them. I may even do an individual pop review. Who knows? Uh, views on my pop reviews are going up. So I may bring them back. Only time will tell. Uh, you can let me know if you want more pop reviews in the comments below. Uh, make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this review. Uh, which one is your favorite from the Shazam family? Uh, both modern or rebirth era, new 52 era, and pre new 52 era. Uh, Shazam will always be my favorite. Uh, however, there for a time, Billy did take over as the wizard. The Well, not really the wizard, but the guardian of the Rocky of Eternity. And he got all the powers of the wizard. And Freddy ended up becoming Captain Marvel. Uh, he was, for, for the longest time, can, called Captain Marvel Jr. Then he actually became Captain Marvel. Uh, same costume and everything, uh, just, you know, advanced in rank, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but anyway, have a good one, guys, and take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.